So a lot of people ask me, hey, pastor, what about water baptism? Water baptism, maybe to you, seems a little weird. Maybe it seems like it's um, something that doesn't seem, I don't know, normal. Well, for 2,000 plus years, the local church has been baptizing Christians, new believers that put their faith in Christ Jesus. And so I want to give you three reasons, biblical reasons of why water baptism. Water baptism is God's idea, number one. God's idea in Jesus coming to the earth and being crucified and being buried and raised again. And after he's raised again, he's about to ascend to heaven. And he gives this command to the disciples. He says, go into all the world, uh, making disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, God's idea for water baptism is biblical. Number two, it's an act of obedience. He is encouraging you and I to take that next step as new believers to be water baptized in obedience and faith. For some of us, we're married. Some of us, we know someone that's married. And you might have a ring that is a symbol of being married. Water baptism symbolizes being one in Christ Jesus. And so I wanna encourage you that all through scripture, salvation is based on your faith in Christ Jesus alone, apart from water baptism. So you could be married and not have a ring. But I will tell you this, that that next step of obedience has great benefits from the Father. Every time he asks us to do something, there's a benefit and a blessing behind it, which leads us to number three, which what that symbol means. It means that you no longer live, but Christ lives in you. So that baptism is a symbol of you going into the grave with Christ Jesus and being raised up a new creation. Let me say that again. It's a symbol of you being buried with Christ and being raised with him. What a great symbol. What a great testimony. I want to read Romans 6, 4. It says, for we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. I love the language of this scripture. If you look at the language, it's not saying just you, it's saying we. Because not only are you buried and raised with Christ Jesus, you are now in a community of believers. You're in the body of Christ known as the church. And so it's a partaking of not just Christ in water baptism, but it's a partaking of a community of believers. I hope this encourages you to take this next step of faith and get water baptized.